Hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks when it comes to cooling down water, and that is with WizWords, which is normally a, not a viable method for the most part. But if you know how to go about it, you can actually do it. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Normally, WizWords are not good when it comes to cooling down uh, 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 pipes, that, uh, pipes with water. And that is because um, uh, liquid has, um, has a high mass, has a big mass, large mass, in comparison to gases. Uh, so WizWords are really good for cooling gases, but not so efficient uh, with cooling uh, uh, liquids. However, there is a mechanism and a way to actually do that if you are careful. And uh, the first thing that I'm, I'm doing is actually I'm utilizing uh, polluted water. And uh, what I really like to do is I try to create a big pool of polluted water. The way I do it is by drilling, you know, specific locations over here. You see where there was there were like pockets of uh, polluted water, and I just let it drop over here. And I do have my mesh tiles pretty much set up, so the water actually created a tank over here. And it's uh, a, a really large mass of water. And now I have my water sieve in here. And uh, the thing is, uh, this water over here is actually uh, about uh, 30 Celsius. But when it comes inside the water sieve, uh, coming out, it, uh, it's always 40 Celsius. And uh, you need to cool it down to about 25, at, um, at most like 25 Celsius, in order to, uh, to make it so that you can use it for farming, for instance. Now, the way I do it is, uh, first of all, I create a, 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 an insulated room. And it, it's important to, to use insulation so that uh, the coolness that gets emitted by WizWorks is not uh, dispersed into the environment and just stays inside. So I created a room with six WizWorks and I could have added one more here if I really wanted to. But uh, yeah, I created a room with six and an, an insulated room. And uh, there's also a trapped uh, break in here. So, and the next, the next thing that I do is I pump some hydrogen inside. And in this situation, in this case, I actually pumped the hydrogen, I have actually destroyed the pipes now, but I pumped it from this location, there was a little bit of hydrogen here, you can actually see the wire. And I pumped it and after that I destroyed the pump, because I didn't really need it. And then now the, this room has hydrogen, and the reason why hydrogen is uh, nice is that because it makes your whiz works more efficient, because uh, hydrogen allows the coolness that gets emitted from... Uh, the whiz words to traverse, uh, to be more efficient and traverse faster. And uh, so, you know, the when you, you actually are able to cool um, liquids much faster if, uh, if you have uh, hydrogen inside the room. And uh, you, can, you can actually examine that uh, on your own if you really want to. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you right now, uh, <laughs> hydrogen is, is really, really useful in such situations. So, the next thing that you need to do is have a liquid valve and the reason for that is that normally when you have uh, liquid pipes uh, the normal uh, throughput is uh, 10 kilograms uh, per second uh, for, for the pipes. Now if you send 10 kilograms per second over in that room uh, nothing will happen because the mass is really really huge, really large and uh, the, your whiz words will not be efficient, they will not, uh, they will not be able to cool down the uh, that, that large mass of water. So it would effectively come out the same and uh, pretty much uh, make the room hot. <laughs> so nothing would basically happen. However, if you f control the flow and you set it up to something like a thousand grams per second, or a kilogram per second, now, now we're talking. So let's examine this situation. Now it's 38 over here. So it enters at 38, and this could also have been radium pipe by the way, you know, so. but over here as it goes through you see 30, 29, so over here is 28, 25, 22, and comes out, comes out at 20, which is perfect. So a, a, gram, a kilogram of water uh, going through this room will actually, come down, will actually uh, start at 38 Celsius and come out as, at about 20 Celsius, which is amazing. It's uh, fi fi about 50% uh, less uh, heat. Than what it was. Now, you can play with it a little bit and see that if we put, let's say, 3000 instead, 3000 grams, and this is mechanical, so actually a duplicant, a duplicant will have to go here and change that manually in order for it to take effect. So you see, right now it's still 1000 uh, grams. So once a duplicant comes in now, now it's 3000 grams. And so let's examine what's going on here. So now there is a higher mass of water going through, again, starting at 38. But uh, look at the temperature now. So it starts rising and rising really, really fast. 25, 26, and I think it's gonna stagnate at about uh, 28 or 29 or something and slowly rise. 
maybe to 30. But you see that uh, this uh, this has a huge effect on the temperature, just because the wizards have a, ha a hard time cooling it. Let's uh, let's try 500 instead, which is less than a thousand that we had earlier. What will happen now? So remember that it was at around 28. So let's take a look uh, at what happens now with 500 grams when this becomes 500. It's 3,000. Now it's 500. So look at the temperature, dropping, dropping, dropping. Nicely dropping here because the the mass is uh, the mass of the water is much less, and so it's much more efficient for uh, wizards. It's easier for wizards wizards to pull down the water. So you can play with uh, the different. Uh, the, you can play with this option and actually try uh, how many grams you want to pass through and what works best for you. But I found that uh, a thousand is probably good enough for me because it stays at around uh, uh, two, two, uh, twenty Celsius, and that's uh, just uh, perfect for my situation so let's um, uh, make it lower a little bit so and what I do is I like to send this uh, to my pool over here I have a pool of water and um, the only thing that I need to be worried about is uh, that uh, the, the throughput is actually enough to cover my needs so that uh, this water is not used faster than what gets produced and what I like to do is I examine one tile and to take a look um, at how, my, how many kilograms of water are here and uh, how many kilograms of water will be there in like a cycle or two. So I examine you know, how much is used and uh, how much is actually being produced. And uh, basically I, use, I, I like to use this water for pumping into farms for example. Like as you see here I pump it to my farms. And uh, I don't necessarily have to use it for my sours. I do use it in that sense, in that case because and there's not much use anyway, but if you have many dupes, it will uh, make a difference. So uh, for, for sours, you can use hot water, it doesn't really matter. So you can get this water directly, for example. It doesn't matter at all. As long as you're using insulated pipes and uh, effect probably even with abyssal light because it's like super hot. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I like to do for cooling down small masses of water and eventually pretty much transferring the polluted water from this uh, location and making it uh, clean water and putting it into this locator, location at a much better temperature. And so, yeah, this, uh, this works really, really great. And it's a, it's a mechanism that I really, really recommend to people. It's actually quite easy to do. I mean, basically, you just need a room of words and a little bit of uh, hydrogen and you are golden. That's it for this video. Short and quick, hopefully, and uh, useful, I suppose, I hope. And uh, hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please show it. <laughs> Leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon with the next one. Thanks again for watching and have fun playing Oxygen Not Included. Waiting for the new update, I suppose. I don't even know what it's going to be, but we'll see. Thank you, guys. Bye.